Okay, so what's up, guys? Uh, need Need for Sleep or Garrett G31 here. Whatever you know me as. Um, just a T30 game, which I'll add a little clip to the back of this, which you'll notice. Um, one of the players, I won't say who it is yet, um, they get a bit, uh, a bit butt hurt in this game. Because um, apparently I'm scrub, you know. Just, I'm scrub. Pretty interesting game, though. Um, let's fast forward a bit. This, this was a beautiful thing right here. Just, oh. I'll, I'm not sure what he was thinking. It was a good plan had I not been there and had he not got spotted, but because I did. And he did go there, and I was there. Yeah. Get rid of that for you. Okay. Yeah. Here in a second, our T-34 thinks he's Erwin Rommel. I don't understand either. I don't understand why people do that, but, you know, you know how it is. Oil of tanks, you know, at its finest. This was, uh, I think this is my second game in the T-30 tonight. Or, yeah, tonight, the day, the day that I'm recording this, um, which is the day this, this will be going up. That was a beautiful shot. Like, if you heard me in TeamSpeak, which I wish I recorded this live, I was just like, oh my god. I quite enjoy this thing. It's probably one of my... It's my second favorite tank. My first one being the Super Pershing. Yes, I know. It's not the world's best tank. It's not the world's greatest tank. I just love it. I don't know why. Um, definitely my second favorite tank, though. And then, yeah, I don't know why I did this. I just, I wanted the kill. I don't remember if I get a, a shot this bulldog or not. I don't remember. I don't, yeah, I don't think I did. Um, standards of tier 9 TD. Definitely my favorite, even though it's I've only, I've only played one, and it, but it will probably still be my favorite. But I don't know. Don't quote me on that. Um, tier nine tank. Probably still one of my favorites. Actually, probably is the favorite because I really don't have any other tier nine tanks. Um, T fifty four. T fifty four has a special place in my heart because it's a medium. But... Then again, I also like my mediums, so... You can see me thinking here, I'm like, I'm gonna get this 5100, but he never he never rolled around, which he was probably on reload, so fair enough to him. Um, yeah, let's see, I'm waiting for him. I decided to go help out the uh, the IS-6 because that T-34 is pushing on that corner. So, hold on as we do a quick derp to him. Then allowed our, uh, our M103 to take him out, so good job there. Already nearly wrecking my game. But this this KD-4. I felt bad for him. I'm not sure what that STI was doing. Like, had, had that STI pushed, or ST1, whatever y'all know it is, pushed, we probably would have lost this game. Or lost this corner. Because that's a very strong tank, and it was... Yeah. Already again saying hello. I go ahead and fix my gun just because I have armor, but you know what the T30's gun like. If you've played the T30, you know what the gun is like. It's very temperamental. Some games it hits everything without even aiming, other games it doesn't. And then just disregard that chat bug for the replay. I, now, I very nearly could have blew my IS-6 up right there, or severely damaged him. 
but I live on the nature side. <laughs> I think I tried to get a shot on the uh, that waffle over there. Yeah, you see, I don't think you can get one there. No. I know some tanks, if they're tall enough, you can. You can kind of thread it through those mountains. Um, I fired a bit too early, though. Um, had I saved that shot, I probably could have killed the Yag Tiger right there instead of letting him kill our uh, Mod 1 there. But, yeah, you see me aiming for the Waffen again. But that Yag Tig, he, he done messed up. And then I spot the scorpion. I was like, oh, I want to touch it. It's not meant to be, though. You see me backing up, trying to get shots on his turret and everything. As soon as I load, he's gone. Jill was in this game, he's going, how much damage you had? I'm like, I have no idea, because I, I don't have damage panel and all that stuff. You can see me trying to get a shot on this waffle. And I had I aimed a bit higher, I would have got that. But uh, he, he was like, well, don't get killed. I was like, I know, I, I know, I know. I looked at the scorpion, I was like, just shoot me. And then I was like, I was so confident, and bing. I was like, wait, what? <laughs> I was severely expecting to take at least 500 damage there. I don't know, I could have gotten more damage had I been more aggressive, maybe, but... And then, yeah, Waffle's butt hurt. What's up, guys? Need for sleep here. Um, just having a, a casual, salty chat with this boy. Um, apparently he's mad, because... Uh, where's my batch at game? Uh, Geo wasn't in this game, but he was in the, the team speak. So, here we are. You know, pretty good game. I'll upload this to YouTube later. Yada, 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 yada. Well, here's that Waffentrager Panzer IV. Yep, there you go. I didn't kill him, but apparently, um, yeah, he's uh, pretty salty. So, here's our little conversation. Uh, he, he's pr pretty mad. I don't know why he's doing this. Um, he's actually a pretty good player. 1600-something, uh, or 17, 1800, somewhere in there, W8. Um, maybe it's a shared account, I don't know, but, um, he, he's pretty salty. And just in case y'all are wondering, this, this YouTube video right here is the, uh, the ever-famous Made by Jingles, the, uh, Why You Have to Be Mad video, where it's the, um, I think it's the Russian, I think he's Russian hockey player. I'm just saying, Why You Have to Be Mad. Um, yeah, he's, he's pretty salty. I don't know. Okay, so as always, guys, if you enjoyed the video, um, like, subscribe, whatever you want to do. If you don't have to, no problem. I'm just doing this for fun. Um, there will be more videos coming up soon. I'm starting to upload more than I have more of a powerhouse PC. Um, thanks for watching.